the if you guys are new here. And uh, but I did like Tony where Jesus really helped me with that with that stuff. So always remember. Vanessa if you guys are new here quick Christian content lifestyle content I like to talk about bake fashion lifestyle healthy habits just taking you in on my life and I thought I would just share with you guys my day so I woke up a little bit ago just got out of the shower and I just threw on my pajamas even though I'm getting ready for the day but I want to do a little skincare with you guys so I've got a couple of new things this is my rice toner from Amazon. I was literally scrolling through a TikTok and I saw a girl using it and it literally looked like her skin was glass. So I was like, I want to get it. I get a lot of things honestly from TikTok. Pretty influencing, but I did like it and it's honestly pretty cheap so you can get it on Amazon. And now I'm going to put This other toner, the one I showed you guys earlier, the Mary in May. And it's not like a toner that you normally would use. It is like a hydrating toner. Which, which makes it better. Because I realized that my skin was honestly getting really dry. And that's why I was losing a lot of the like elasticity because I was using so much like tretinoin and stuff and then not combating it with hydration so so it's very important to hydrate and then i just got this from my facial facialist the other week um a b3 youth serum by dermaquest and she said it's kind of like an all-in-one serum and it's good for everyone to just have in their skincare routine so i don't really have a vitamin c right now so i'm just going to use and it has like ferulic like acid and a lot of other stuff but I like how it's like all in one and then I have a vitamin C from this Zio skincare I have some left so I'm just going to put that on my skin this one like tingles a little bit My hair is like actually wavy and curly. I feel like I never wear it like this. But maybe I will today. Good morning. Welcome to another video. I am, what's today? Today's Wednesday, so I have the day off today. I literally need a tripod, so that's why I put this up here. Because I'm trying to set you guys. Okay. Hold on. 
Um, today's Wednesday and I'm vlogging today. I don't know where I left off. I think I um, was just gonna add on to a vlog that I was making, but my computer actually broke. So I don't know what was wrong with that. I was literally praying that it would just turn on and I still do believe that that could happen. But I obviously had to like take action and I have an appointment which you guys will probably already be seeing this video at that point, but I had an appointment at Apple and they fixed it. So yeah, uh, it's working, but that's why I couldn't really post for a little bit. And anyways, today's Wednesday. I ended up having the day off from work when I usually have the day off on Fridays, but I have it off today. So um, I was just gonna get some stuff done today. I have just a lot of things to do around the house. Clean, organize, usually I do Fridays is like my like days off where I clean and organize and prepare for the week a little bit. Um, but today I just want to um, do that. I also am doing a mini fast. So I'm doing a fast, hold on. I also am doing a fast. So um, I was doing, I'm doing the Jenny Weaver fast for your husband and prepare for marriage. So I'm doing that, um, and it's Wednesday. I did, I'm doing the Wednesday one. So, um, I'm just doing a juice, juice cleanse kind of type of thing. That's what I felt from the Lord that he told me I could do. So fast is, fasting is different for everybody. Um, a true biblical fast is, um, really being, um, they really fasted. Think you could do no water, no food, and you just fast. Jesus fasted for 40 days. So, um... Yeah, but also you can fast upon what the Lord says for you and the instructions he gives you and you just have to take it back to God because everybody's different and he might have you do something different each time. It's, you know, um, kind of just be led by the spirit with that. I'm a Christian, by the way, if you're new to my channel. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, so I'm doing that and I honestly feel like it really helped me already. Um, she was talking a lot about comparison and like not being content which that was something i used to always really struggle with and it says in corinthians i think paul the apostle says that he's learned what it's like to be content with little and he's learned what it's like to be content with much because he's had both and in both he's been content so i always look at that as like encouragement and such you know motivation because we should be content with what we have and have a heart of thankfulness to the lord of what we have and steward what he gives us well instead you know i used to do things where like and i'm still working at it but i would pray and be like i want you know a new house or a new car or my own apartment or my own things and the lord had to humble me and be like girl you don't even take care of your car it looks like a hoarder lives in there like you know um and i also think that certain things like that always root not always but for me it rooted down to self-worth self-image i always had a lot of the enemies the devil's lies in my mind like telling me that i wasn't good enough or that i was too this or too much of that and it was just plain out exhausting and this is where like deliverance comes in like i've definitely been delivered by the lord in so many areas and he just takes that root out what whether it's from like generational or if it's just something like a lie you've believed your whole life like the lord can heal you and you can start to live a renewed life where you start to live different and feel different about yourself and so i had to put those into practice is like i there was like a point in my time a point in my life the past couple of months honestly like almost a year ago i didn't leave like and this sounds dramatic but like i literally didn't leave my room for like six months every single day i spent days at just jesus's feet praying for him to um renew my mind like i was speaking scripture over myself i was consecrated to him and I still am, but then like he can give you assignments. And so that's how I live my life. But like, um, I know I have like a gift to speak. I know that I have an anointing and a gift to, um, do different things and social media and creativity. And there's like businesses and things that the Lord has, you know, put in my, uh, mind to do and stuff. But before that, it's like, I can't walk around and not know who I am and have my identity be thrown off and believing lies. And I just think social media is such a huge way that we compare. And I think that's like, honestly, I'm just like a fault to falling into that because while we like, I was raised, we were raised in it. 
and there were just times that like I was going on social media but I wasn't set free or delivered of those things in my mind so it was just like get worse and worse and worse and if I was just constantly like wanting or wishing I had something else it was just making me feel like I was ungrateful and it it was becoming an idol and Jesus had to help me with it so don't be like afraid to honestly I I beg you if you struggle with comparison or you struggle with like idolatry or just putting anything abo above God as an idol get off of social media it literally says in the bible to cut your right hand off if it causes you to sin and just if you have to unfollow people who are tempting to you unfollow them if you need to like remove yourself from it remove yourself from it like get off of facebook and instagram whatever like tiktok don't just scroll all day long it's like that is all the enemy has a literal field day with people who are just completely distracted by that and comparing them their bodies body dysmorphia comparing their lives comparing their husbands their boyfriends their everything clothing everything there was a specific year that i i think it was 2022 the lord had i remember no i remember sitting with him and being like i think i have a shopping problem there was this time where i couldn't go into a store without buying something and i was honestly deeply convicted and i remember telling one of my spiritual fathers i was like I don't think I can go into a I have this like deep urge where like I feel like I always need to buy something and this is where the contentment comes because it was like trying to fill a void that like Jesus was trying to fill for me and I remember um, my friend would pray with me and he said I want you to make a promise to yourself and pray about it and I want you to just not buy anything for however long try two months like just go two months without you don't have you don't need anything like you have everything you need you know obviously if it's like tampons and stuff like that like things you need actually like get them but like as it goes for materialistic stuff like clothing getting my nails done doing little things like that he was like just strip it all like just see what the lord does when you strip all of that and you just seek him and see how much like simpler your life will feel and certain stuff like that and for me, that was so hard because I love clothing and I love those things. And I feel like someone could be like, so then why would you, like, why would you strip yourself of that? But those things were overcompensating for who God was in my life. And I think that's when it becomes an idol or something that you feel like you can't live without. It's like we should only be able to look at Jesus and think that way. And so... And it can sound like I'm too much or, or whatever, but it was actually a chain in my life. Like my worth was coming from clothing. My worth was coming from like an idea of, of, a, of a, like it was just coming from so much more than like who God was saying that I was like. And so it's also just not good. It's, it was also a deep, deep root of, of lack of self-control. Like I don't want to be a wife at that point. And then I'm like, just even if I had a ton of money, I don't want to just go to the store and buy whatever I want because I have it. That's not necessary. I don't feel like I should need that. And I was recognizing it. So, you know, don't be afraid to call yourself out. I feel like I do that with myself often. The Lord actually calls me out and he does it with love. But if you get like a, a feeling, I used to get conviction. Like I would buy certain stuff and I knew I didn't need them. Like I was like, I don't need this. Like I want it, but like, is this necessary? And now that I have such a freeing relationship, I ended up going a whole year without buying stuff. God just, I begged him like to take away the desire. He literally took away the desire from me and I didn't even feel like I needed to buy anything for like a whole year. I just, I was so able to go into the store and feel so content and I just felt like Jesus was everything I needed. And, and it is true. Like I didn't need the things anymore. I didn't even want them. I prayed that my will and my desires would align with who what for what his will and desire for my life was and at the time it was not new clothing it was just not that at all because even the finance part of that like I was definitely not stewarding well what he was financially providing for me so I was being disobedient there are so many things that are rooted to just desires that aren't aligned with God and it comes from a deeper rooted place it could be rejection it could be like envy it could be so many different things and those are really serious so it's like get in your prayer closet get before god pray about things and he's going to change you change your heart for the better like you're going to feel free all of these different things and i just feel like i've had so much like 
pivotal moments in my life the past year like I'm so not the same person I ever was but I feel so much better and I still love fashion and I still love clothing and that I don't want you to mistake me for thinking I'm saying like you can't ever shop again that's not what I'm saying but if it's something that you put before God and it's something that is filling something for you then that is not healthy and you definitely should seek God and ask him to just take that away help like he'll who he wants to help you and you're going to feel so much more freer because um those things at the end of the day they turn to dust and we should be content with what we have and Instagram and stuff can make you just look every day at other things and I feel like that's what changed my life also was like having a heart of gratitude a heart of thankfulness like the most joyful people are the ones who are the most thankful like they're just thankful to be alive thankful that they have their health thankful for the small things in life that matter and I'm like that's who I want to be that's who Vanessa is that's who my heart is it's not this materialistic girl that you know social media wants to make me have to seem it's like no Jesus saved me from that and I want him to save every girl in my generation from that too and again I love fashion I love clothing I still go shopping when I have the means to do so and budgeting and all that stuff but I just don't feel like that urge that like if I'm sad I don't feel like I have to go like shop when before if I was sad I'd be like all right let's go shopping like this is gonna fill me and it did for like a week and then not even probably like two days and then I was on to the next so I was never ever ever content and that's honestly a huge part of my testimony where Jesus really helped me with that but anyways, regardless of all that, um, I just wanted to get some groceries. I was going to sit down and I was going to order some groceries from Whole Foods, I think. There's some things that I wanted from Whole Foods and they do online shopping. I was either going to go, I didn't know if I should go to Whole Foods or do this. And I could maybe go, but it's just 45 minutes away. So I'm just going to see if I could do it online. I just have to check like what time they'll be here by and I'm going to make a nice healthy soup with like kale, um, celery, different types of stuff. Um, just really healthy and I kind of wanted to make it with chicken. So I think that's what I'm doing. I feel like, um, what's today? Is my off day? I'm like cleaning, doing laundry, cooking. I feel like a wife. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Preparing to be a wife because I know one day I will be. And I gotta, you know, be good with that stuff. So, anyways, um, that is what I'm gonna do. Hope you guys enjoyed my little rant. <laughs> I just put this headband on because I'm gonna wash my face and take a shower. But I was actually just prepping some stuff to make a soup. So, I just took some stuff out that we had. And I did my online order for Whole Foods. But I ordered, um... The stuff from whole foods and it wasn't going to come in till tomorrow which is honestly fine because it's like not a big deal um it's going to come in the morning but i wanted to make my soup so i just ended up ordering um the stuff for tomorrow and then i just took out some stuff that i ended up having and we're just going to kind of throw it together i kind of feel like that's how soup is anyways it doesn't not necessarily have to be like anything specific it can just be like what you want it to be but for now, I'm just going to turn the lights off and I have to take a shower. I'm going to wash my face. I haven't washed my face yet and it's 1.45 in the afternoon. Um, and yeah, I feel like my skin is glowing, which I'm so happy about. But I honestly think it's the joy of the Lord. So all credit to God. But I am going to just take a shower. I'm going to put my hair up because I want it yesterday and I don't um, need to wash it again until another couple of days. I'm also trying to like hair train my hair to not get like I don't want to wash it as much so I don't want it to get like greasy or anything fast but it's like I work out almost every day and I like move my body every day so I try to just like let it um, start shampoo and stuff. But I don't know if I showed you guys my newest face wash that I've been into. And I know a lot of people use it, but I've really been liking the Panoxyl face wash. Long story short, I got the Jan Marini face wash, which I was so excited about and I love it. And it's so good. And it honestly reminds me of this one a little bit, but I left it in a hotel room when I went to Boston. 
and I left it there. So I'm like, what in the world? Um, it was like expensive too. But I called and they said that no one had it. And I'm like, someone either stole it or I don't know, because I know it was in the shower. I remember I used it. Um, so my sister had this and I started using it and I actually started liking what it was doing to my skin. So it ended up working out. And I actually really like that, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna take a shower. Think so when you fast and pray, things move faster, things work better. Um, it says in the Bible, some of these things only come out through fasting and prayer together. So I'm gonna make sure that I do that. And um, usually it says in the Bible, like wash your face and go out like no one knows you're fasting. So it's like, you're not really supposed to like declare it, but because you guys won't see this, um, live time, then it's fine. I'm just kind of showing you a day in the life of like what fasting and prayer looks like for me. So I have a lot of energy because I'm filled with the Holy Spirit and with joy and the Lord's presence, like I feel him. So I feel like that's why people who fast, you could be like, aren't you like sluggish because you're not eating? Well, when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have like this like enthusiasticness about you. So that's kind of where it comes from. He's just like speaking through me and like living through me more and like everything's heightened. Make a soup. Just make a little <clears throat> fresh chicken soup. Just peeling my carrots. I don't know if these are big enough, but better than nothing. And then I just also chopped some onion. Guys, I'm fasting right now, so this is some willpower. I bought blueberry pancakes for tomorrow, and I'm so excited to eat. Yeah, home, you wanna stop over? Yeah. I'm making this soup. I um I put an egg in it. You put a what? An egg. Let's stop all of that water, you know? Yeah. I, I'm all the chicken I'm really what you need, I call it fowl. Yeah. Just chopping some zucchini. So this is what I do with my parsley. I my grandma taught me this. But I just take the bunch of it, put it in a cup and I put it in water and I just leave it out. Sometimes I'll put like a big bag like this, put it in the bag and put it in the fridge for it to stay fresh. Otherwise, I've just left mine out since the air is fine. Skim it, skin it, and then sort of just start just gonna clean it and then add it to um, my soup just finished my soup looks good i added a ton of spinach so i'm just gonna have to wait till six to eat that but it's fine i got it and then i just opened a package from amazon that came 
This is um, a color corrector, like teeth. I think it's like a mouthwash, but I guess it really helps your teeth. So I wanted to use those instead of whitening strips. And I just got the so laundry. Put this thing. My dad. Those, those ones are mine actually from when I work out. Oh, I just got the laundry. Nani stopped over. Nani stopped over. Just grabbed the laundry. We're gonna fold it. Can you talk to your mom or not? My camera. My friends well, on my better. camera. Yeah. <laughs> smoking e-cigarettes in front of my family but I was going to work and they didn't even know I was a Christian it was literally like living a double lifestyle it was it was torment on my mind it was torment on on everything I was going through and then you know as things Jenny kept praying she was just I mean she would literally anoint, anoint my pillow at night I wouldn't even think think she was doing anything but she would be anointing my pillow at night she was praying for me consistently you know and then you know she, I would see the difference in her she came home and just the difference that I seen in her I was like man you know where'd you go tonight she came home from the church she was like oh my god this church was on fire I can't believe I finally found a church that I loved you know the Holy Spirit was moved I was like really and then just seeing her I was like well I think I'll go with you on Sunday that's basically what I did. I seen her going to church, coming home, just acting completely different. She came home, repented one night, and said that, you know, she, I, she I just put on some pajamas. Sorry, I'm yawning. I just put some pajamas on, and I was gonna make some meal. Or, yeah, this one's good. It's a good day. I broke my fast, and I just feel like the. Fasting is so important. Much more. Hi. I've been fasting so much more this year than I ever have before. And I'm fasting so much more than I ever have. And I feel like it is like really changing my life. So if you guys want more on fasting, I can do a podcast episode on it. Or something like that. 